morning. This is DCR Troy Community Radio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David DeNoyer on TCTV. It's time for community connection with Miami County Park District. And with me this morning, Amanda Smith. Good morning. Good morning, Clint. How are you? I'm excellent, but I'm solo again. <laughs> well, uh, not solo in the parks. Looks like it's a beautiful time to be out in the park. It's gorgeous. You know, we have that full cool down. summer for eight months and fall for four. I have to think about it. I'm not a hot weather person. So is it a mild summer? <laughs> what a mild is summer? Yeah, we, a mild since summer. we're pretending, let's pretend sure. it's in the 70s. And I'm on board. Eight and four. That works. No? Okay. But anyway, it's a really nice time to go out. So if you find yourself with a little time on your hands or just make time to go out. of jogging and walking and just get out and do something nice for your health. So it's uh, September 20th at Charleston. Uh, it's at 8 o'clock for registration, 9 o'clock the race begins. It's for walkers and runners alike and definitely uh, it's a great way to get out and incorporate your, your parks into your healthy lifestyle. So This is one of the things you want to pre-register for. Yes, pre-registration actually ended on uh. Friday, I think it was, but you can still register um, online. You just don't get your t-shirt, and um, you can also register day of. Okay. So it's not a problem if you come on down um, on Sunday morning and register and, and try out a trail run. And usually if we have extra t-shirts, we, we hand them out to those who didn't get to pre-register. So. All right. You've always had great sponsors for your trail runs. We do. We are so fortunate. We have Miami <coughs> County Public Health who's going to be out taking blood pressure and BMI. And, you know, it's just a great way to kind of keep track of where you are. So, you know, you never have the excuse of, I didn't know I had, you know, really high blood pressure or I had gone into the 30s in the BMI. So it's a really nice way to do that. And the public health um, is a great partner. We have Upper Valley Premier Health. Um, Upper Valley Medical Center, I should say, Premier Health, and they've been with us since day one, as has Brower Insurance and Scott Family McDonald's. They they provide all the race snacks, so, you know, that's really nice. Up and Running, again, has been with us since uh, day one, and they have a great selection of shoes and even training classes and groups that run together, so that's a wonderful way to help you um, get going. Um, Abbey Credit Union is also one of our sponsors and they have been supporting us for the last few years. I think everybody's really um, looking to have a healthier workforce, healthier community, and and all these guys are, are great. Our sponsors are wonderful to, to help us promote that. 
Now, we've talked about this a couple times now, and uh, it's getting closer, the Fall Farm Fest. It is. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe it? It's, it's the 10th and the 11th of October, so we're starting to gear up, looking for volunteers, scarecrows, um, you know, you name it. We're, we're starting to, you know, actively pursue those, those, those types of um, people to be involved. So if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, you can contact me. And if you're interested in volunteering, you can contact Jesse Chernetsky, and we can both be reached at 335-6273. And I tell you what, the volunteers who are at the Fall Farm Fest, they seem to be having a lot of fun all the time. Um, it's a great event to be outside, you know, fall well, air. You've been out there. Fun for the whole you're family, yeah, yeah. You've got lots of events for the kids. You're doing mm -hmm. some new things this year, too. We are. It's great. We've partnered with um, the Farm Bureau, and where Fall, fall Farm Fest technically ends at 5, the um, Farm Bureau is sponsoring additional children's games. The Cattlemen's Association will be out with food, and then we're going to have a school year dance. I'm so excited. And the last thing is the evening ends with Charlotte's Web being shown in the courtyard of the, the farm yard of the barns, um, so it's projected on the exterior of one of the tall barns and everybody just gets to eat popcorn and watch the movie and you know it's a wonderful setting it's kind of fun to do a movie outside nice so yeah make sure you, you do that and now along with fall farm fest that's off in october but you've got a slew of events that are happening before then that's right um tomorrow actually grandparents day and we have our annual fishing derby so bring the grandparents out or grandparents bring your grandchildren out and it's a it's so much fun the ponds at stillwater are stocked this spring and you know everybody's it's a high likelihood that people will catch something which makes fishing a better experience so at least for me and my attention span doesn't allow for a lot of time to sit and not catch anything so i'd go fishing kids. but i'd have to take someone to bait my hook oh really yeah hmm. not a baiter yeah that's you know Worms and flies, they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of gross. I, I, I have a harder time grabbing a fish than I do baiting a worm. So can you take them off, the fish off? Are you Well, okay, like so someone to bait the hook and take the fish off. Oh, here I thought it might be the perfect fishing partnership. So, <laughs> But, yeah, you really step out. And, you know, it's from 1 to 4 at Stillwater Prairie Reserve, and that's tomorrow on the 13th. And, you know, there are prizes and different age groups and, just check out our website for the details and come out and enjoy the wonderful weather we're supposed to have this weekend. All right. September 14th, you've got the Trailing Moms and Tots. That's right. From 10 to 12 at Charleston Falls. And it's a great way for moms and their tots and expectant mothers to socialize and have the kids socialize, get some fresh air, and, you know, just get out of the house and have a nice time. So it's very really gaining popularity this year. So... Try it out if you're, and dads, we have dads show up occasionally too, so if you're a dad, you can bring, you can bring your toddler out and socialize as well, so. You've got your Music in the Park, uh, Night Songs Walk. That's right, September 19th, we have John DeBoer with Night Songs from 9 to 11 at Stillwater Prairie Reserve, and it's, we've talked about it, I don't know, probably every month we talk about um, what a different experience it is to be out in the parks at night so um, and it's in the music and you know just everybody gathering around taking a hike noticing night sounds um, and a lot of times we'll have our Stillwater um, Stillwater stargazers are out often with their telescopes so you can actually check the night sky out as well all right then on the 20th is your trail run at night right and followed by the dog social and everybody's going to be dressing up for the doggy fashion show <laughs> It's from 1 to 3 at Obart Urban Nature Preserve right here in Troy. Bring your dog um, if he's friendly, and you may meet a lot of really friendly pet owners and, and, their, and their pets. And, you know, it's just a, a barking good time, as John DeBoer would say. Barking yeah. good time. And dress them up. So, you know, the if I just imagine dogs with sunglasses and those feather boas. boas. Yes, that would be, be kind of neat. So anyway, 
Uh, dog social. I've got a boa, but it would take a big dog. <laughs> there you go. Great thing. Yeah. <laughs> You've got your preschool in the parks. You're talking about birds. That's right. We are featuring that program both um, on September 21st, 26th, and 27th. And it goes from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Charleston Falls. And, you know, the kids get to learn about birds and migration and habitat and beaks and you know adaptations it's a really uh, a fun it's all taken down to a preschool level so it's a lot of fun and um, you know we've been talking about the bird migration here for the last I don't know has it been a month August oh, 15th I think it's been a little <laughs> over a month now. yeah it feels like it but yeah they'll probably learn a little bit about lights out Ohio as well and um, it's just a great time so bring your preschooler out you do need to register it's three dollars per program and um, it's just a nice time so it's very popular and then you have another event at Charleston Falls on the 26th that's right it is an old-fashioned campfire so get ready to go out and sing songs and eat s'mores and um, the Stillwater stargazers are there with their telescopes it's we are the stars that sing so you know it's a wonderful time. It's on the 26th of September at Charleston Falls Preserve from 8 to 10. So another nice opportunity to get out in the parks at night. All right. September 27th, you've got your GPS Pathfinder program. That's right. We talked about this last week, how it might be useful when you're in the corn maze. corn maze. That's right. Although we haven't tested that yet. We'll have to do that. Um, it is at Charleston Falls Preserve from 1 to 4 on September 27th. So come out and learn about navigating with a GPS unit. You also learn about compasses and, you know, old methods such as stars and moss on trees and all of the different types of ways to navigate. Now, which side of the tree does the moss grow on? I believe it's the north side. <laughs> Is it? At least that's what happens to my house. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Unfortunately, Clint, you don't have a naturalist here. <coughs> I really should probably go to that program. No wonder I get lost in the corn maze. Do you know? Uh, where does the moss grow flat on? Hmm, I don't know. On the rolling stone? Uh, uh, hey, like uh, <laughs> you brought up the corn maze. Uh, the corn maze is up and ready for rent now. Absolutely. It is open for rental. You just need to call the office and talk to Angie and she can get you scheduled. And again, the number is 335-6273. And it's very affordable um, at $100 per hour. And you know, you get to have picnic tables, you get um, private use of the corn maze. So it's great for birthday parties or, you know, if you're having a family get together or it's, it's just a really fun time, something a little different. So. Um, I highly recommend it. All right, and they can do that by calling the office? That's right, again, 335-6273. Um, you can also go to the website and check out the details, you know, all the different add-ons, if you want a campfire, if you want, you know, additional tables, corn shooter. So check out the website, miamicountyparks.com, and then for all the programs, you can register on there, or you can do the old-fashioned call-in or email at register at miamicountyparks.com. And of course, make sure you mark uh, the 10th and 11th of October down on your calendar. That's Fall Farm Fest. That's right. And uh, anything else you'd like to add in this morning? No, it should be a good time. You'll be there from probably around 11 or 12 to 1 or 2. So All right. I'll say hi to Glenn. <laughs> this has been the Community Connection with the Miami County Park District with Amanda Smith. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJF.